Oh my god. Oh my god. We got the puppies. Where's Jerry Lawler? We need to get Jerry Lawler out here. Where's the king? So we've got Lita, the Attitude Era Lita, versus Stephanie McMahon in this bonus Attitude Era challenge. And in this one, we unlock Lita if we can win. And we unlock the Attitude Era Lita. So it's for the women's title, August 21st, 2000. Lita developed a heated rivalry with Stephanie McMahon, and she finally got a shot at the women's championship on this edition of Raw. Stephanie had recently been stacking the cards against Lita with her cronies Triple H, and The Rock is a special guest referee in this match. So we have to perform the moonsault off the top rope and pin Stephanie within 10 seconds of the moonsault. And it's actually a pin in combination, so that wouldn't be too difficult. I like how they replaced the... Um, in 2010, they sort of had the top rope moves where it had the pinning combination or it just pinned automatically. But then in 2011 and 2012, they took that out. And now in WA13, they added the pin combination back into the top rope moves, which is pretty good because, I mean, like if you're Justin Gabriel, you hit a 450 splash, it'd be nice to just get the pin right away. Or if you're playing with an RVD call, you see Stephanie McMahon, the billion dollar prin princess with that woman's title. She looks so sexy, but she doesn't. She is not Stephanie McMahon. And here's The Rock. If you smell what The Rock is not cooking, because he smells like... Never mind. So, anyway. Uh, like I was saying with... I don't know what I was saying. But, uh, with Lita, the woman's title, as you can see, the spinning W. It's like that for every title. Don't know why. Could get a little creative there for the Attitude Era once. But, anyway. Um, Stephanie McMahon, I mean, in the Titantron, she looks super terrible because she's, like, all whack job and, you know, stuff like that. But with the pinning combinations, with the top rope moves, or, like I said, if you, you're an uh, RVD call and you hit a five-star frog splash, it'd be nice to just sort of automatically get into there with the pin. You don't have to, like, hit the frog splash and then spend like five minutes, five seconds afterwards like getting back up and then you gotta go down with the pin and the, another good thing related to the pinning combinations is the referee how they do slide into this game which is good because usually in WA12 and other previous games you would go for the pin and then you'd have to wait like a second or two before the referee could get down to count but in this in this game, in WA13, the referee is already down, waiting for you to get the pin fully in. You see The Rock? You see why The Rock might be with Stephanie McMahon, because he gets right in the way there. And then I end up grappling him, which I could slap him. <laughs> anyway, so a nice tornado DDT there. But with the when the referee is ready for you to count the pin, it's better than him just standing there while you get into the pin, and then... We the superstar has like a, an extra second to try and kick out while the referee drops down. But in this one, he slides, so you can be like all the way in the corner, and you could be at the opposite corner. He just like dolphin dive, and then he's right there for the to count the pin. So there's a lot of reversal combinations when you're playing on the legend difficulty, because I mean the the moves are so much smoother in this game, which sort of makes the reversals smoother as well. And you see the Hardy Boys leg drop kind of funny how she just warps into place there. She, like, lands on top of Stephanie's stomach and then all of a sudden is on her head. Anyway, so as you can see, we got the signature here. Extreme twist of fate. I'll also probably work for a finisher, but have it as the signature set of the moonsault. And I wasn't really thinking here. Um, Stephanie Van slides out, so she was obviously thinking. Nice missile drop kick there. But I completely forgot about Triple H, so when I hit this moonsault and go for the pin, I completely missed that moonsault, so... Anyway, so I do stand her back up, knock her back down, and then go for another moonsault. Um, and then Triple H hops up on the apron and interferes with this pin. It's probably to like, hop up on the apron to try and stop me from jumping down. I get a one count, no, a two count, and then Rock gets up and goes to talk to Triple H. So, yeah, then I go out and, you know, beat the shit out of him. Try to distract him so I can pin Stephanie McMahon. And, of course, just as he hops down off the apron, Stephanie kicks out. She takes all that time to kick out. She can't just wait. Nice. Pulling off 
the Just flying elbow. Strength. Another lockup, and on Legend difficulty, the lockups are almost impossible unless you're like Big Show against like Rey Mysterio. But here we go, we're gonna go out and we're gonna do the head scissor on Triple H. And I'm pretty sure at this exact moment, Jerry Law says something like, he'd want to be in Triple H's shoes because head scissor, uh, whatever. But you know, something like that, and that is 100% true, especially with Alina. Um, kind of prefer her. Uh, non attitude error attire. I kind of like her newer one better. Or this looks like her new Lita, but I don't think it is. It's, I don't know. But yeah, she's got this nice leg drop, like the Undertaker. I don't like the just plain elbow off the apron. It's better when you have like the boot or the leg drop. Here we go, another extreme twist of fate. I don't know exactly what's so extreme that is just in reverse. He just caught over his twist of fate, but I don't know. Team Extreme, I guess, makes it more extreme. Like extreme snowboarding, shuffle, shuffle, snow, skate, fly, or aerobics. I don't know. And then you see Rock right here with a fast count while Triple H tries to get up on the apron. So was the Rock on our side all along. You never know. But now he's like, now he's over there with Stephanie trying to make sure she's okay. But maybe Stephanie is, maybe he's trying to grab that ass. <laughs> <laughs> she just like rolled over and then he's like, I don't know, just reaching down at her just as we get a different camera angle. So we unlock both Stephanie McMahon and the 2000 Lolita from the Attitude Era. And next up, we've got He Lies, He Cheats, and He Steals, Eddie Guerrero, coming up next. Peace out.